What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam for the PS2. I'm a little bit tired and uh, I'm just going to say that right away. So if I sound kind of monotone, I apologize. But like I said yesterday, I had pretty big plans for, for today, which is Thursday, for my day off. And uh, those plans followed through and I had a pretty good time. And it, and it kind of made me want to talk about something that um, I'm actually, I can't believe I actually know what I want to talk about. And hopefully it can last the 13 minutes that this video is. But um, I hung out with one of my best friends since childhood. And just one of the people in this world that really proves the point that not everyone's bad. Which is amazing. It's, it's really comforting to know that there's some people out there that aren't complete assholes. And that they just... They just want to live their life to their fullest. And that's exactly what my friend is. And he's such a nice guy. And he was, it's so nice that they, um, him and his wife, um, invited me over for, for the night. And uh, just to play some video games and to have some fun. And, you know, I, I brought him a little present. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I did buy him a present. They were talking... Um, he was talking about how he wanted to play Rock Band 4, but he didn't buy it. And and I told him that the the Legacy adapter, you know, it's pretty expensive, but I, I would definitely recommend getting it. And so, in a couple days before, I think it was actually the Sunday before, um, so last Sunday, I was like, you know what, I think to repay him for being such a nice guy throughout all of his years that he's known me, me of all people, and to celebrate him um, marrying his now wife, I wanted to get them both something special. And I got them two 3DS games, Nintendogs and Tomodachi Life. Two very cute games that are fun to play um, for, for both people. And I got them Rock Band 4, the Legacy Adapter Pack. Because um, I was on sale on Amazon for 30 bucks. I was like, ah, yeah, I'm definitely going to get this. And it was just the... It felt really good to give back to one of my best friends and to see how happy they both were just not only with themselves but how grateful they were to to receive such a gift you know it, it sounds like I'm, I'm talking myself up but it's just the kind of people that you know don't take any little thing for for granted they're they're very happy people and it's really awesome so I, I wanted to talk about not that but I did talk about that I suppose I wanted to talk about just disconnecting friends from from my personal experience because you know through time your friends will change your friends will become different people and whether they do or you know if they do or they don't that's you know completely up to them honestly it's not up to you that's kind of selfish um, luckily I've well not luckily not luckily it was more unfortunately that I've had to disconnect almost all of my friends from my life due to their poor decisions um, starting to try to get to me. And I'm not a I'm not a big fan of peer pressure. I'm not a big fan of people trying to make me do things that for sure I don't want to do. And I'm not a fan of people making me look like the idiot for not doing those kinds of things. I think that is the most ridiculous thing in the world that somebody could ever do to you is to make you feel stupid for not wanting to make a bad decision every once in a while. I've lived with that kind of um, friend circle for most, if not all, my life. Where, oh, you don't want to, you don't want to drink, you don't want to, you don't want to go out and smoke, you don't want to do that kind of thing. Wow, okay, and and it makes me look like the idiot. Like, why, what, why do I have to look like the idiot when it comes to you doing idiotic things? Um, to harm yourself. Why, why does that make me look like an idiot? And I'll tell you this right now, you're not an idiot if you've ever been in that situation. If you don't want to do things like that, it is totally up to you. It is not something you should feel ashamed for. And I don't. I don't feel ashamed for it. I just think I feel bad for them for thinking so so stupidly. Like, why? what kind of mindset is that, of all things? How stupid can you fucking be to think that somebody else would be not cool because they don't want to do the shit that you do all the time 
So it's not a bad thing to disconnect friends if you don't feel comfortable with the person they've become for good or for for, um, for better, for good or for worse, sorry. Um, you know, my the friend I saw today, if anything, he's, he's pretty much stayed the same. He's always been such a happy-go-lucky dude. He's been so awesome and so kind to me, no matter how much of an asshole I was when I was a kid. And I really commend him for that because, man, he's... He's still got my back to this day. But there's some people out there that claim to be your best friend that don't hold up their end of the bargain as much as you do. And that's when you really realize there is a problem with how things are going. And I've had a friend, and it it really pains me to say this, I've had a friend where you just try so hard to connect with them and you try so hard to just be the best friend that you used to be But they just slowly just let go of your hand, you know? And they're slowly just drifting away, and then they're just gone, you know? And you just, you want to consider them your best friend, but you know deep down that you just can't, you shouldn't put yourself through that. If they don't want to hang out, just if they don't respond to you in general, it's time to just leave them it and it sounds like I'm talking about you know girlfriend boyfriend relationships but it's it's the cold hard truth when it comes to um, actually choosing your friends it's unfortunate if they don't want to keep up with you if they don't want to be a part of your life you know not all the time but I would say a good 80% of the time they don't want to stay in touch then how can you even call them your friend they're just an acquaintance at that point. You just happen to see them and you talk to them every so often. If you if you share similar bonds and you've shared great memories, that's awesome. That's great. But that doesn't automatically mean you need to be their friend or their best friend. You can't just lie to yourself like that. And I've been lying to myself for a long time when it comes to certain best friends of mine. And through these past couple of months I have definitely disconnected myself from I think 80% of my high school friends the other 20 you know I have some hopes for them I'm really hoping that I can make amends happen but I'm not I'm not gonna hold up my my whole end of the deal by myself you know if you wanna be my friend you, you gotta at least show that you wanna be my friend and it sounds really snobby to say. It feels like I'm I'm acting snobby, but it's it's the truth. It's really the truth. And you don't if you don't want to be surrounded by negative people, then don't. Don't don't do that to yourself. Don't think that you have to be friends with them forever. If you feel as though you're not comfortable with them or you're not comfortable with the person they are, the things they do, then I think it's time for you to do things. But don't just drift away. Just talk to them, you know? Give them that, just give them that kind of, a kind of a verbal way of, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Just like, at least give them the heads up that you don't feel comfortable with the person they've become. If they're not okay with it, that sucks. That means you'll definitely have to let them go, because don't change for anybody but I feel like that that's pretty much the sentence don't change for anybody don't change who you are for anyone else if somebody is not comfortable with you and they don't want to be your friend then let them go if that's who you want to be and who you've accepted yourself to be then you need to let them go don't put them through that struggle of trying to be your friend friendship should not be a should not be a struggle, you know? If you've reached friendship or best friendship with somebody, you shouldn't still have any trouble talking to them or communicating your issues about one another. You need to bring those issues to them. That goes for any relationship, honestly. Communication is key, and there's... People don't know their problems unless they're told apparently. I know I don't know my own problems until I'm told um, something about it. 
I've been told multiple multiple times at work that I don't communicate clearly enough. And, you know, that's just something for me to improve on. You can't improve upon something if you don't know the problem. And if you don't want to change, that's completely your decision to make. I know this was more of a deep episode, but, you know, hanging out with that friend today was really an eye-opener to to how I want my friends how I want my close friend circle to be I don't I don't want to feel the struggle of having to do other things that don't require drinking or going out and partying you know I don't want to feel that struggle or that barrier in a relationship if I feel as though I can just call him up and be like hey you want to hang out and know for a fact that the things that you know that I don't feel comfortable doing aren't even going to be on the list of things that could possibly happen that's kind of that's really refreshing I didn't expect any partying or drinking to go on when I went to my friend's house today I just expected to have fun and to, to hang out and play some video games that's what we did you know there's there's always surprises in every every relationship, friendship, or, you know, actual girlfriend, boyfriend kind of thing. I don't even know what that's called, but don't, don't let yourself be, be fooled by some people. If you need to let go of somebody, you should definitely do it. I've gone through, I don't want to say I've gone through a lot of girlfriends in my life, but I've gone through some pretty heartbreaking things in my life um, not all relating to, to girlfriends but if you need to make a decision to, to make your life better then you should do that you should never feel obligated to you should never feel unhappy about about your life you know I'm so I'm I'm very lost for words right now and it's kind of bothering me but your happiness matters over anyone's anyone else's happiness if you're not happy with the life you're living then there's probably something seriously wrong whether it's internally or externally and given any circumstances you are given you should always try to be happy with the person that you are on the inside. Don't let anyone else make you feel worthless or like a piece of garbage. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next week for more Tony Hawk. Later.